Hey you guys, welcome back. Happy New Year. We made it to 2021. I can't dance, but you know, I, I tried. Um, so I got my book here with a bunch of stuff that I am going to change um, in this year to make my life a little bit easier. And also as a family, we're gonna change certain things to have a better year. I know last year was just hectic. And I mean, things are not better. We're in Toronto and we are under lockdown. So I mean, it hasn't gotten better, but I want to change some things in our routine to make our life a little bit easier. All right, so before we get started, make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. So the first on the list is, and Ramaldo's watching me and he is laughing at me, but I feel like I'm doing a great job. He's so rude. Anyways, moving along. So first on our list is spending time with God. Um, last year we had a newborn and you know, it was just really hard to... Romaldo, I was doing so good and you coughed. I need to cough or I'll die. Oh my God, are you gonna quiet, be quiet? Okay, so like I was saying last year, we had Riley and it was just super hard with setting aside a time to spend with God. I'm not saying that we didn't spend time with God, but I feel like we should have made sure to set aside a time to actually sit down, meditate every single day to improve our spiritual life. And I feel like when I do read the word and pray, I'm so much more nicer than any other time because other times I'm just like complaining cranky and just in a mood you know but I feel like if we do this this year we're gonna be good good and I feel like I'm shaking my head too much but it is what it is okay so that is number one on our list spending time with God and just hearing what he has to say to us and you know applying that in our life this year all right guys, so number two on my list is, I feel like this is so important to me um, because I've, the last, I would say three years, hardly had any me time. Uh, when I say this, I'm not saying like I'm upset about it or I'm angry about it, but um, just having kids back to back, it just like pushed away me time. And I feel like this year, now that both of the girls are, you know, um, not breastfed, they are um, bottle feeding, so I have a little bit more time for myself. Um, mind you, like, I'm a super homebody girl, and once I had the kids, I didn't want to go out at all, and um, just thinking about going out is just like so stressful because you want to pack everything for the kids and you don't want to miss a little thing. And once I'm out with the kids, I'm like, okay, so when are we going home? Because the schedules are getting messed up. The kids need nap time. They need their lunch. They need their dinner. They need their bedtime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, very stressful. I know I can be a little uptight about that, but I feel like that's just my parenting skill. But this year, I want to take some time for out for myself. I know we're still under lockdown, so, you know, just going to drive, going for a drive or going to the grocery store, just having alone time, just getting dressed to go to the grocery store would be nice too, you know? Um, so I'll be doing that. And if you guys are homebody, comment below because I feel like I'm not alone on this. And if you guys have a set schedule for your kids, comment below because I know there is a bunch of other moms out there that are exactly like me and that is okay, okay, that is all right. Um, so yeah, that is another thing that I will be doing and I feel like, especially for my mental health, um, I've just gone through so much last year and you know, having a baby didn't really um, help with my mental health 
postpartum was a bit more hard than with Reina because my mom wasn't there for me. Um, I mean, not there for me, like she didn't live with me. Um, for Reina, I lived with my mom. For Riley, we moved out. Um, so it was a bit hard for me. So um, I'm just trying to get that still in order and deal with other issues and other situation that took place for me to slowly come out and I feel like that this is one of the way for me to do that is just to spend time with myself and figure myself out because the last two years just focused on family and my husband and my children and I feel like it's my turn this year to focus on myself and see and figure out what I want. Number three is just adding on to my mental health is avoiding negative situations and negative people. I feel like we tend to, you know, focus on all of the negative situation around us and let that define ourselves. But I feel like this year I'm just going to ignore those people, ignore those comments and focus on what God has for me this year um, and by avoiding all this negative energy and I feel like I would be able to focus on that um, and receive what God has ready for me and I know this year is going to be great because of the way um, we started this year so that is number three and lastly I want to add just you know, um, working out and eating healthy. I don't know how much of that I can actually do every single day, but I am going to try my best to eat healthy and work out. So it's only been a week since I started working out. Um, I worked out, it took three days off and I'm back now. Um, I worked out again today. So I am getting there slowly. But surely, I'm going to be losing all this baby fat and we're going to get snatched. Jokes. Um, so that is what I'm going to be doing. And um, in regards to our marriage, we um, are, you know, focusing on reading the word and praying, like I mentioned before, together as a couple. And also, you know, trying we will try to spend time alone together um, without the kids and I feel like that is really important because once you have children you're just like totally focused on your kids and everything else comes second which is totally fine which what we've been doing the last two years and I feel like it's time for us to spend time together at least once a month um, just set aside a time to hang out and if you're willing to babysit, let me know. Jokes. Um, so yeah, so that is what we're going to be doing and I hope you guys um, will try some of these, add them into your routine or your schedule to see how it goes. I'm not really keen on um, New Year's resolution thing and I feel like it, that it only lasts for however long, but I feel like making life um, changes to improve your life in the long run will benefit you better. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below what you're changing this year and we will discuss and talk about it. And I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Yeah, come here. Come say Happy New Year to everybody. Come down. I don't want to. Come. Come, come down. <laughs> come say Happy New Year. Show them your face properly. Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here.